Hey guys, welcome back for another quick little video for you guys today. Uh, so, we checked out the Hollywood show in our last video. Mm -hmm. uh, for this one, right after the Hollywood show, we went to visit Magnolia Boulevard. As usual. That's As usual, opinion. that's our like <laughs> go-to every time she visits. Mm -hmm. And we checked out uh, Dark Delicacies, we checked out Blast from the Past, and Halloween, and Town. Halloween Town. So, got a few freaking awesome pickups that mm -hmm. we're going to show you guys. So, uh, Dell, the owner of Dark Douglases, they got a great deal on uh, the storage unit. And he had tons of Fangoria's and Horror Hound magazines. Warzone, Rumor. Like, all kind. I wish I would have taken We were just, like, so taken aback yeah. by it. We were, like, you know, little and kids you know, in a candy made, store. Sorry, he had made this oh, posting, God. like, a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go visit in a couple of weeks. But then I was like, there's probably going to be nothing. Because, yeah. you know... Once the Cinefix too, that's another magazine that was there, crazy. Um, and I was just like, well, I doubt there's going to be anything. There was still a ton, and there still is. And he's still posting about them. Yeah. And the best part is, they were two to five dollars each. And then there was a bin that actually had a higher price one. Mm -hmm. uh, we did get a Fangoria that was in that bin, uh, but it was worth it though. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because the condition of them was great, you'll see right now. But that's a good deal because usually when you go to conventions and stuff like that, those Fangorias can easily go from like. 10 to 20 bucks maybe even more yeah. and we got like some classic Bangoria ones from like back in the day like yeah. i got the postcard um magazine you'll see mm -hmm. yeah we're so enough talk we're going to show you guys right now okay so first up we have the video watchdog magazines these were two bucks each and obviously we had to get friday the 13th because uh -huh. that's chris's that's favorite that's all me right there um so these are from a little bit later uh this is from 2011 so i guess i'm not sure if these are still going on um let us know if they are uh, but some of them are from the 90s. Uh, this is 91. That's so cool. This, this is an Argento one, which I love Argento, if you guys mm. haven't noticed. Right. <laughs> uh, and I love George Romero, and I love um, Day of the Dead. Uh, obviously, full cheese in this one, too. And then this one is from 1999. So, just really, really cool. I've never seen these before. Me um, I gotta go through them. I've, I haven't went through them yet, but just based on the covers, I'm like, I have to have them. So. Oh, no, for sure. And uh, there's more. And we picked up some more magazines. As you guys can see, it's all freaking things that we both love. Adam's Family, can never go wrong with some Godzilla. My babe found this one for me. I was like stoked. Because <laughs> like, I say love... <laughs> no, for real. I was like, I love Batman. She she yeah. knows how much I love Batman 66. Yeah, I think you met uh, Bert in... Yeah, Adam I, at I, Hollywood show, right? I got to meet, yeah, uh, I got to meet Adam and Bert at a uh, Hollywood show, I, I want to say 2017, I, I believe, yeah, it was, and the funny part, it, it was weird, because it was, you know, when I met him, it, he was in great health, he looked good, um, and then a couple months later, unfortunately, that's when uh, he passed, so that was like, one of those situations where I was like, damn, I'm so happy, like, I made that choice to, like, meet him, you know? That would have been my last shot. So, yeah, it freaking sucks, man. Um, but we picked these up. And you want to show them the uh, oh, Adams Family? Yeah. So this one. This is actually like an activity book. Yeah. We got two of them, but the other one's in the pile over here. Because I actually wanted to buy this for a friend, but Christian insisted that we keep this. Oh, no. Not so uh, there's like activities <laughs> and things in here, I believe. But it turned yeah. into a giant poster. You open it up and check this and out. And this is just beautiful. I mean the owner had this stuff in such good conditions and even like the um plastic sleevings like this is like near mint basically mm -hmm. um and we got two of these adams family things for uh like 15 bucks yeah for both so, so this is the other side so yeah. there's a bunch of cool little little cool things little in here activities um and if you haven't seen this cartoon it's really really fun i, I think it was the 70s maybe 90s not 100 percent sure but um, yeah, super love that. I actually really love this cover and I wanted to give it to a friend, but Chris mm. wants to keep it. So. Oh, no, no. I was like, we're that's gonna mine. We're going to keep it. <laughs> I was like, that's mine. But, but yeah, we're going to show you guys the rest of the magazines. Probably yep. no more commentary, though, only because there's so many and it would be like a probably an hour long video. <laughs> yeah, really. So we're just going to try to skim Let's through do these. Let's do it. All right, here are some more magazines we picked up. Yes, uh, as you guys can see, there's a good variety. There's Gore Zone, Fangoria, Galactic Journal collectible toys this one was freaking awesome because i just wanted to just i mean look at that just based That's, on the front yeah just it's beautiful. i mean majority of these their artwork is amazing yeah and then uh rap fink right here and then uh 
I'm not even gonna butcher that. Was it Cinefantastique? Cine yeah. <laughs> And then uh, all the Batmans on it. So but this I love one right Batman. here, this Fangoria was one of the ones that was in like the more higher priced. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost twenty, but all the posters are in there and they're mint, mm -hmm. like and brand it's new. All these posters plus a couple more, they're all double sided. Yeah, we would show show you guys, but it's yeah. just way we bought way too much stuff <laughs> to yeah. like show you every single thing in here. Yeah, but uh, there you guys go. Now these right here are so great the covers for them horror hound remorgue fangoria mm -hmm. these are some like pride and joy is my collection now um i got a lot of these based on the cover actually um, but also just because i flip magazines um this jaws one's really nice oh it's yeah it's a uh, lag tomorrow actually so this is very fitting mm -hmm. uh and this rob zombie one is really really cool it has the uh, metal and horror issue trick or treat it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite movies and then this one right over here I know we said it wasn't good commentary, but it's hard not to talk about these. <laughs> um, this one, like, automatically, like, Chris knew. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. I'm going to grab that. Um, loves I King. love Eli Rob, so I got, <laughs> you know, two different issues um, mm -hmm. involving him. And then we got the Fangoria for Sleepy Hollow, Bats, House on a Haunted Hill, um, Adam's Family, and then this Horror Hound one, which I didn't even realize, but Christian had I it. already had it, Michael. I have so yeah. many that I lost track, so that one's on me, but hey, at least we have doubles in yeah. case one of them I mean, this is actually sealed, and it's, it's you know, the other one we can use for whatever yep. else. So, there you guys go. And next up, more magazines. <laughs> yeah, some really nice classic Fangorias. Oh, yeah. Um, what number is this one? I don't think I can tell which one. Oh my god, some bugs in there, so sorry. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, it's an earlier one um, it's it's for a new beginning. Number 45. Oh, okay, right. yeah. Um, and then we have this one. This is the full color postcards. This is just postcards. Um, they're perfect. They're like brand new. Um, these will probably never be, like, I'll never use them. Um, no, no, no. But this, this one. This one, I um, lost my, uh, yeah, I lost my shit for this one because if you guys don't know, this is Black Sabbath with uh, Boris Karloff an anthology if you guys are sleeping on black sabbath you guys need to freaking watch it it's some great uh, italian horror anthology and as soon as she showed me that i was like yep we're taking that yeah, issue we, we automatically we already had a pile going and then mm -hmm. the owner came up and was like here's a little box thing for you guys <laughs> right. because we were just like this we were throwing them on like the table because we were like we're getting right. the majority of these um, I love this vampire one just because it's the girls of our screams, um, and I love women in horror because um, I am a woman trying to get in the industry um, here in Hollywood and stuff for post production. So mm -hmm. big deal for me. Another gore zone. This is Jason Goes to Hell. Quite obvious yeah. why we got this one. K and B. Um, <laughs> horror Hound, Toxic Avenger. We both love Toxie. Um, so and Trauma. Chris likes Trauma. Mm -hmm. I've only really seen Toxic Avenger, so I still have more to watch. <laughs> and then we got this. I know that Chris already has this, but we. I just I had to. I, I just Craven. wanted to get it again just yeah. to have a double. It's a great one. You can never go wrong with a Wes Craven cover. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, there you guys go. And the last things we picked up at Dark Delicacies were these uh, Cinefix booklets right here. These are awesome. They don't make them anymore. Mm -hmm. I actually picked up the last one they ever did. It was for The Mandalorian, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, my friend Charles um, and MovieGuy14 on Instagram, he had told me about that. We were at a shop in Sacramento. It was actually World's Best Comics. He had a couple copies left. And he's like, hey, this is like the last one. We might as well grab them. So I mm -hmm. grabbed it. But obviously I had to get RoboCop. Um, we met was Peter Weller, Peter Weller yeah. um, a couple well set of monster blues are right mm -hmm. um, so you know we both like Robo and then of course this is issue number seven I believe um, and I mean King Kong <laughs> uh, can't go wrong with that but these are really cool they're about special effects for these movies um, I have another one I have a actually I have two so I have the Mandalorian one and I have a Rick Baker um, one those are the only ones I have um, so these are no longer you find these in the wild for a good price definitely get them because they're history basically yeah, pretty much. And next up, we also picked up some stuff from uh, Blast from the Past. And we picked this up from uh, Blast from the Past. And it's actually pretty fitting because it is July 3rd. Yep. For those of you who know Return of the Living Dead, you know what that date means. Yep. But uh, yeah, we picked these up. You want to They're turn really, really cool. The They're Bright Trigger Treat Studios. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure that most of you guys know. Uh, they're just wall decor. I like them because they look like the, you know, old vintage uh, Halloween decor. And every time we go to Blast in the Past, I'm like, oh, these are cool, these are cool. And I finally said, screw it, let's get a couple different ones. Yeah, um, we're always, like, passing on them. We oh, we'll get them next time. We'll be get moving them in the next couple months. Yep. So we want to decorate our home with this yep. um, wherever we move. 
Um, so we got those ones, and then we actually picked up the Halloween ones. Chris also picked these. Um, I really like these ones. There's a specific one on here I really, really like. Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> really like the pumpkin, this Love little guy, mm -hmm. um, well, Bob, and just all this. There was a Halloween 4 ones, which was hilarious because I actually had Loomis on it, like, screaming. Yeah, it looks We'll probably get those next time. Later down the road, um, yeah. But I also have the Creepshow ones at home. Nice. Because he picked one of you on Creepshow, I'm like, why well, do you have those? <laughs> <laughs> and then these ones, we had to pick between two different designs for trick-or-treat. Yep. Um, and we got these because I wanted it for solely this one. Yep. Because uh, iconic opening scene so we picked these guys up there's one more thing that we picked up that we didn't mention in the last part of the video yeah and that was this print by uh terry wolfinger uh he usually is at monster palooza but we were going trying to go by his table a couple times um at monster palooza but his table was like mad busy so we were like okay which it's is fine. a good thing oh yeah 100 percent. so i was like okay it's fine if we could always do it online whatever but we actually found it at halloween town um because we are thinking of doing well not thinking but we're going to do a creature from the black lagoon themed bathroom uh whenever we get a place so that'll be really fun so we have a couple prints now uh ready for that yep so there you guys go all right so there you guys have it all the cool stuff we picked up uh what three different stores dark Dell, yeah. blast from the you past is, halloween town this is the first time too that we actually didn't really have a con so we actually were able to like support the small businesses more i mean we usually do but like this time it was like a lot yeah it was a <laughs> it was a huge relief like this is probably like one of the few times like she's come down here to visit and we're not stressing about you know oh we got this panel at the convention we gotta meet yeah. we gotta meet this you know person who's gonna have like a line for like two hours or yeah. whatever so it was nice it was, it was a nice little change of pace for us um her visiting and just we did the hollywood show which wasn't that bad we only wanted to meet two people which we got knocked out of the way real quick mm -hmm. and then we had a chance to uh to do this yeah. so we checked it out we came up we really on did. all these magazines and I'm if freaking you happy. want some of that there's still a lot left i left some <laughs> there's a lot there <laughs> we was left some, there yeah. were some that i was like okay this one can stay but then yeah it's just like we had to make some tough yeah choices. i mean because <laughs> at that point we yeah we would have dropped way too we, much more money we, than we should have already but it's a pleasure to always support dell and sue because they have a great business and they've been around for a very long time so i'd rather spend all the money there opposed to like amazon or something like that no so. big time we probably spend no lie like almost what like 200 at I least on say. the magazines yeah yeah, yeah just I, on the magazine yeah because i mean I don't know. For me, I'm a magazine collector, um, and I have a lot of them. I've been collecting Fangoria for almost 10 years, mm -hmm. um, and I get a lot of older issues, and then I do the Room Order and Horror Hound. Uh, I do some of the Life... I do the Life magazines, too, but only if it's, like... Like, they did a Godzilla on a Jaws one, so I do those, too. So, I'm just a big magazine collector, so that's why I went absolutely nuts Yeah, for between it. both of us. Like, yeah. I, I've been collecting for a while, too. You know, her collection's a little bit better than Quality, mine. I'll admit. not quantity. Uh, I'll admit, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. But, uh, anyway, we're just being goofballs. Mm -hmm. uh thank you guys as always for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys are in the burbank area please do yourselves a favor if you guys love horror check out dark dell check out all their magazines that they got right now they're two to five dollars check them out support small business mm -hmm. they're our friends we love them to death so um yeah and that's gonna wrap up this video guys thank you guys as always for watching and uh we'll see you guys for the next one